648 now. Hi. Fans of uh, Downton Abbey <laughs> like Tina, Cody, and this yes, guy. Yes, yes. yes ma'am. Our director, Mark Woodfork, so excited. Yes. Over night. the moon. Loved it. Yeah. Ooh, Loved it. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, uh, they're, they're talking about the return of the yes. sprawling British estate that they hold dear when the feature film comes out next week. Yeah, the story of the Crawley family continues with a very important visitor destined for the dinner table. Mm -hmm. Joining us now with all the details we can squeeze out of him is writer and producer <laughs> Julia Fellows. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks so much <laughs> thanks for, for being here. We have some really huge fans of the show and, of course, now the movie. In fact, our director saw the movie last night. Oh, no, really? Yes, yes, saw last night. Thank you for, for joining us. It was brilliant. I have to say it's absolutely brilliant and definitely worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I, have a, I have so many questions, so I'll get right to it. Um, the center plot point is obviously that Roy is visiting uh, Downton. Um, but actually, uh, King George V did visit Highclere at some point. Now, how much information do you have from that original visit to apply to when you start writing this film? Well, what actually got me started was when um, George V and Queen Mary visited Yorkshire. They made a tour of Yorkshire in 1912, and I was reading about it in one book. And as I was reading it, I thought, this is really the idea I've been looking for, because I wanted something that would involve everyone. Uh, the staff and the family and everyone, and that right. seemed to answer it. Absolutely, absolutely. And I love what you did at the very beginning of the film, uh, was the synopsis of the entire six seasons. So I thought that was very important because a lot of people say, well, do I need to see the series to oh, watch the movie? That's and helpful. you answered that question at the very beginning with the, the six season synopsis. I thought it was brilliant. I'm so sorry, I didn't get the question. I had about five different tracks going in my ear at once. <laughs> <laughs> was, the, was the 60 synopsis you did at the beginning of the film, was that uh, part of your initial plan, your original plan all along, to have that? Um, I, it's always, it was always our plan, uh, uh, once we knew we were making the movie, to find a subject that would be a kind of central story. But I didn't think there would be a film. I, I, I didn't believe there would be. It seemed too difficult logistically to get everyone sure. together. But anyway, after about a year, I was convinced that there would. And then I had to get my thinking cap on. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> I, I can't let you go without asking about Mary. Mary seems to be one of the most polarizing characters on the show. Um, most people are either love or hate her. I'm, t I'm all team Mary. I love Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you, what was your, who's your, your favorite character when you developed when you wrote the, the characters in the story? Who most identifies with you or who do well, you? you know, they're all my favorites, sure. really. I mean, they're all my you have to say children. <laughs> I mean, sure. um, it's good fun to write for Maggie uh, uh, sure. because it's rather like making darts for someone who's always going to hit the bullseye. You know, you're <laughs> never going to waste a line on her. Absolutely. She's uh, and so that is good fun. But I, but I like all the storylines. I like all the characters. I mean, I've been writing them for 10 years Absolutely. now. Absolutely. So uh, if I didn't like them, I'd have pushed them under a bus. Sure. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Because he can. We're going to let you get out of here. But um, one, quick, one more last question. Sequel. Will there be? Oh, well, I don't think we must get ahead of us. <laughs> Let's wait and see how the public likes the film. Oh, the public's oh. going to love it. Oh, the public's going to absolutely will. love it. Oh. Absolutely love it. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. It's fantastic. Mr. Yeah. Fellows, oh, thank, thank you, you so much You've for your lovely. time this morning. Uh, the movie comes out next Thursday. Mm -hmm. So uh, people can check it out. I know that <laughs> Tina cannot wait. Yeah, she's going to love it. Oh, yeah. She's cannot wait. I'm going back. You're, You're going, going back. back. last night, I'm going back it's again. It's beautiful. Yeah. I it's love beautiful. that they do have the synopsis. They do. Yeah. A full 16 synopsis, so you don't have to watch the series to, to watch the movie. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah it's beautiful. That's because I, I love the accents, of course. Anything <laughs> the with accent. the accent yes. I get, I love. Yeah, but right. the, the, the film, it's a beautiful looking yes. film, and all the characters are so well developed. That's what, I mean, you know me, I don't identify with 1920s British aristocracy. I mean, well, no, I mean, do I? Why would I? Why would I? But, right? You know? right. <laughs> but, but it's the characters it in the story that, that works. There's yeah. so much developing the characters. You love every last one of them. Like yes. he said, he loves all his characters. Yeah. You do. And you or really he like one that you don't like. Bus. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That is so so smart, great. that synopsis at the beginning. I'm so yes. glad yes. to know that. Yes. Awesome. Well, thanks for helping thanks us out. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. You look very wonderful. smart in your sports. You think so? You like this? Yes. Okay. Fabulous, sir. All right. Trying to keep up with you guys. Thanks, Mark.